everyone, welcome to Bikini Design Club. Today, finally, we are uh, making the tutorial for you for the long sleeve mini life pattern. And it's mini life because you also have life for adults if you want. Well, but let me explain what we have on our table. We have three pattern pieces, so this is very simple. We have the back, we have the front, and we have the sleeve. Of course, we have to cut two sleeves, we have to cut the front on the fold and we have to get two backs because it has a center back seam. So I already have here my pattern pieces. This, uh, this is two of my back. So I've already placed right sides facing together and I'm going to pin the entire center seam. I already have here my two sleeves with the notches properly marked. Uh, to mark the notches, they are uh, mentioned on the pattern pieces. Uh, you just, I made the small, small cuts on my fabrics, on my sleeves and also on my body, so that we will then be able to match the sleeves with the main body. Then I have here my front. This is a round uh, neckline and uh, that's it, it's quite simple. And then what do I have here today? Uh, and this is something that it, you may decide to do differently that I'm doing today. I have here two small pieces for, uh, that I cut improvised with my back piece. So I just cut it a, a little bit here. And I did the same for the front uh, using the fold. So we will then have a small lining only at, on this area of our swimsuit. All the rest of the pattern, I'm not going to line it. I've spoken to some moms, I have a boy, so I am not sure about the girls, so I had to ask. And most moms I asked told me that it's better for the kids not to have a lot of fabric. And so I decided to do this with no lining, but lining the lower part here because of course it's more comfortable for the, for the girls. So then what do we have here? I've got it one long strap. Uh, that I will be using to finish the neckline and the back uh, and the back also. It will have a curve, so you will see. So I will use this long strap for that. Then I have here this one, which it's not that big, but I'm going to do two ruffles, one on each side. So between the sleeve and the main piece, I will do two ruffles on the shoulder area. And this is completely optional. As you could see the pictures that I've posted on uh, the beginning of the video, uh, you already saw, and if you saw the intro video for this pattern, you already saw a version of this swimsuit without flounces or ruffles or anything. So this is just an additional thing I'm going to do this time. And then uh, this uh, larger one and longer, it's just for me to do two straps to tie on the back. So this is adjustable on the back with two ties. And that's why I have these uh, pattern pieces here. So now let's start by uh, connecting the center back seam of our lining. So we will just pin the center on this area here. Uh, and then of course, as I told you, uh, center back seams for your back. Also pin all the center back seam here. And so, for now we are going to use no elastic, so um, I'm not going to film all the steps on the sewing machine because I don't think you need to see it, it's too simple. But if you need to see some more experiments that I have uh, filmed with long sleeves, you can also watch our long sleeve swimsuit pattern called Life. And you can also um, check Oh, it's not released yet, so sorry, no, not yet, but it will be released uh, another long sleeve, so you can also see that long sleeve, but it's going to be in a near future, uh, Tuesday next week, I think, uh, so never mind. Uh, you can watch live long swim suit to see uh, how I did another one. But when I reach the sleeves, I'm gonna film. So it's uh, every time I, th I feel it's better for me to film and to show you what I'm doing, I will. The rest, I won't. So pin. So, and we will be back on the table. So I've done the center back seam. I've also uh, made, applying elastic, the straps that I'm going to use to tie on the back. 
So this is a long strap. I improvised uh, uh, the edge on each side. I'm going to cut in half and I will have my two straps ready. So this is something very easy. You just apply the elastic and you sew on your overlock. Now regarding this small piece, remember I told you I'm going to do some ruffles on the shoulder area. So on my sewing machine, on my straight stitch machine, I uh, move the tension of the threads to the maximum possible on my machine and I also um, increase the length of my stitch to the maximum also. And then I just need to stitch very near the edge and this effect will be made by my machine. I don't need to do anything else. If you are not able to do this on your machine, another option is for you to leave the tails of your, of your thread and you can, you can pull on, uh, on, on one of the edges and you can even do more the effect you want, okay? In my case, this is enough, so I'm not going to pull anymore. But once you have this exactly how you want, you just tie a knot in the end so that you will not lose the effects you have and you have your ruffle ready. I'm going to do a very small ruffle, so I'm going to cut this in half and I'm going to use half for each sleeve. But for now, I'm going to set this aside and I'm going to connect my front with my back. So this is my back, right? And this is the shoulder area. So I'm going to grab my shoulders from the front, right sides facing together. And I'm going to pin the shoulder area on both of them. And on your serger or overlock, you just serge this area with no elastic, of course, just straight there. And you do this on both sides. And we will be back on the table again. We have here our front with our back together on the sleeve area. And if we lay it on the table like so, we are ready to do two things. One of them is attaching the sleeves and the other one is placing this long strap that I've cut it all around the neckline of the front coming uh, here and then the, all the back. And this is an option. I, uh, on the other uh, swimsuit that I've posted pictures with the yellow sleeves, I only did this, like I applied the elastic on the inside and folded and did a top stitch here and here. So that was my finish. I didn't have any of these. So this is an extra if you want. The other option is very simple. You just apply the elastic, you fold and you do a top stitch. But in this case, I'm just going to do this a little bit differently. And I'm going to use uh, this strap. This could be uh, made with fold over elastic, but I want the matching color with my sleeves. And so I'm going to be using this one. And, um, and I'm going to start with this area here. And the way to do it is with your right sides facing together, I will pin the, the strap. I call this a strap, but this is not a strap. You understand me, this piece of fabric, right? Uh, I um, pin all this along the curve along here. Sometimes I do a little bit of stretch of this to make the curve perfect. And once I have this all pinned in place, I will sew an elastic on my overlock, applying the elastic on this side. I'm going to apply the elastic here all along this seam. And then I will be back on the table. In this part, I'm going to make it on camera so you can watch me doing. If you need any help, you will see me doing. So maybe it's easier. So to start, let's cut the excess here. I still need this for the front. And now overlock this with elastic. Now 
with our elastic applied let me do a zoom so you can see better with the elastic applied uh, we will do a top stitch before we attach the set before we do the same on the front we will uh, finish this one this side so you can do like I will which is just folding the fabric back and you will have a sticky sides you will always see a little bit of this and this is how this finish for me it's so amazing because of the sticking elastic here you will have a little bit showing on this side so I really love it uh, and what I will do I will go to my uh, sewing machine and I will do a zigzag or a cover stitch if you prefer all around the, um, the edge of this our uh, of our back uh, if you prefer instead of this small bits if you prefer to see more of the blue fabric you could also lay the, the seam towards the outside, adjust your fabric and fold it inwards and do a top stitch on, on the blue side here and you will have more fabric showing. So this is up to you. I will do folding to the back and just a sneak peek of the blue. It's how I prefer, but you can use uh, both techniques uh, to do this finish is uh, so it, it is with whatever option it works best for your uh, look for the look you are achieving so I think I'm gonna go with yellow threads to do this top stitch but you decide if you want to match your threads if you want to do a zigzag if you want to do two parallel lines with your cover stitch so it's up to you the finish here I'm gonna pin because I think it's easier for me when I go to my sewing machine but if you are experienced and you don't need to pin just sew uh, once we have sewn this area we will be able to trim the excess fabric on this side so we will just trim and leave it as it is and so this will be our finish so let's go ahead and do the zigzag here it is the zigzag uh, and now I'm going to trim the excess fabric on the insides I used white uh, so you can see the inside of my zigzag but if you have um, of course you should use uh, the color matching your fabric so it's not visible okay and now I'm just going to trim the excess fabric all around uh, this edge and this side this back sides will be finished and we will move to our front and we will do exactly what we have done here but on the front neckline I'm gonna show you this is how it looks on the inside so I think it's pretty nice and we can perfectly accept this finish. Uh, so now moving on to the front of our piece, we will use the rest of the strap we had and we will do exactly what we have done on the other side. So right sides facing together and pinning all around. Something we can do here and I was thinking about it while I was um, filming this is that we can leave the straps longer on the back there and they will be um, thinner but there will be straps to tie a knot on the back and probably that would be a nice finish so it, this, instead of cutting and doing this just um, on the edge of my fabric I'm gonna see how it goes and if it goes okay you can also do it so I'm gonna split this in half I'm gonna see more or less where is my center front and my center for my strap is here so right sides facing together I pin on the center front and I will go from there to each side just like we did on the back pinning everything until we reach the edge here and then I will go to my straight stitch uh, to my overlock and I will apply elastic the only thing is that instead of just applying the elastic here I will start applying elastic from the edge of the strap and I will come straight along 
this side and then going to the back okay and this I think at this point you can already do without my help so I'm gonna stop filming so you will not spend your minutes watching me doing something that you know how to do it so everything is pinned on my front neckline and I'm ready to apply my elastic and go all around and then I'll be back on the table to let you know how we will do the finish for the this part of the strap that is out of our um, swimsuit we have sewn the elastic and we will do exactly the same that we've done here so fold and fold again right and we will pin just like we did on the back but this time we need on the on the edge here we need to trim this a little bit already because we will need the fabric to fold again so we need to do two folds on the strap area like so and like so okay and this will be sewn sorry we want this to lay like so so we need oh okay now i cannot hide this small bit let me think okay so i think the best way is for us to do this small bit until we reach the connection here just by folding let me take all this out of the way so just by folding the fabric to cover the elastic and if it is like so we fold it again and we do a top stitch so I'm gonna put some pins here and I'm going to make sure that all the my my seam will be even with the same measurements and I will pin this and I will do a top stitch only until I reach the connection to my main fabric to my main body pieces and then it will be easier for me to trim with the scissor here and to fold just like we did for the back so I've pinned both sides and uh, you will feel when you are doing this that the easiest solution would be to just fold it like the first option I gave you when we talked about our back and pin all like this and we would have a bigger uh, showing of the fabric on the front and this is not actually a bad idea it would look it it looks good and uh, as you can see it will give you a cleaner uh, and straightforward finish here so just do a zigzag all around flattening your seam like so and this would be our front uh, finish but I'm thinking if I want to do this or if I want to when I reach here and when, once I have this done if I want to do like we did there uh, folding again and top stitching here uh, so I'm not sure I will think and I will tell you what I decide okay we are going to go with the simplest option because the, if this is to be simple for you to sew I don't want to be over complicating things we didn't line this so this is meant to be something simple so I'm not gonna make it harder uh, by folding and folding again so just top stitch all this this time just folding the elastic to the back not the elastic sorry the strap you understand I say elastic because usually you do this with the fold over elastic and that's why I say elastic uh, but of course this is not elastic elastic this is fabric cut it okay so I'm gonna pin and I'm gonna do the top stitch with the zigzag and I will be back on the table to show you the results and to let you know which are the next steps so this time I, I did this on another machine I have I think it's too tight I should make this a little bit looser the, the stitch but okay and I changed my uh, bobbin to the to matching the color thread with my fabric so just so you can see the difference between this one with white uh, and as you can see here 
it's pretty nice, right? So now we just need to carefully trim the excess fabric that we have here and underneath here inside and we will trim all around and then I will move to the next step. I think the best option for you here is to use your scissor but I'm gonna risk it all and I'm gonna do with my cutter. At least this part here. So this is how it looks in detail. I think it's a good finish. I think we can perfectly accept this finish. I just cut this in a minute and I think this is the outside and this is the inside. And we now have, as I was telling you before, we now have one nice strap to tie a knot. So instead of using the straps that I've done before, I'm gonna just leave this with this thin strap. Uh, so this is also an option for you guys. So now moving on to the next step, we will connect our sleeves. And to connect the sleeves, we open the swimsuit. And, we re and of course I'm gonna do this for one side and you will do for both of them. And since I want to uh, add this ruffle, I'm gonna first attach the ruffle and once the ruffle is attached, I will then attach the sleeve, okay? So I'm gonna, if you don't want to attach the ruffle, you have to skip this part, but I'm gonna place timestamps on the video so it's easier for you to skip this. So go to the timestamp and press where it will say something like connecting um, sleeves. So if I fold this in half again, I will have the middle of my ruffle, which is here. And I want to apply my ruffle here, so I will place my middle with my, with my seam that connects the back with the front. I will align my ruffle And pin and I will go to my straight stitch machine and I will do a zigzag very 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 near the edge just to secure the ruffle to the main piece to the main body front and back this is just because I think it's easier to do this in two steps instead of going and now already placing my sleeve which we could do we, we could place the sleeve at this moment all at the same time and sew this all at the same time but uh, I think it's easier uh, to attach this in two steps so that's why I'm just doing this and I'm gonna do a zigzag and then we will be back on the table and we will be ready to attach our sleeve and since we are going to sew this we can also combine here on the lower part here sew pin and we can also sew this but this time what I'm going to do in this case is I'm also going to sew our lining so I have my lining for the front here and my lining for the back and I want it to be like so so I place the seam facing that seam and here I place the front on top here and when we sew we will sew the four layers together just like I lay them here. This seam here sometimes I go with the overlock and sometimes I do a straight stitch uh, so it's up to you it's okay to use a straight stitch here if you want or a zigzag um, this time I will go with the overlock and sew the four layers. So my ruffles are sewn in place with a zigzag near the edge as you can see 
and I also already have here the lining connected to the main fabric and I just need to open and when we finish the leg holes we, it will be sewn together on the edges here and that's it it will be like so and I will not do anything additional to this um, lining but now I'm gonna tell you how to attach the sleeves I think this is so nice I almost um, can imagine just don't place any uh, not placing any uh, sleeves and just having a pattern with ruffles here but I mean we can do it but it's not the purpose of this tutorial so let's keep I'm already imagining another design so um, coming back to where we want to be uh, open the seam like so grab one of your sleeves make sure you have the right sides facing your right sides align the center with the center notch and the center notch is on the seam so it's easy I find the notch on the sleeve and the seam and I pin now I pin the other notch I have the notch on the sleeve and the notch on the fabric and I go I twist this just a little bit and I pin on the other notch now I go to the other notch and do the same and now I'm gonna pin the two edges this one and the opposite and then it's up to you to decide if you want to add more pins or not because we are going to be combining opposite curves so it may look hard on the first attempt and it's hard on the first time you try it but believe me it's not so hard as it looks it's just a question of practice and practice will leave you to perfection so use how, how many pins you prefer uh, usually I stretch this when I go to my uh, zigzag I stretch this a little bit and so I don't need to place more than these five pins but today I'm gonna show you and I'm gonna put some more so if we just stretch this a little bit combining the fabrics like so we can easily add pins in this area we will be sewing over the layers with the ruffle so it's a little bit thicker uh, I do this with a zigzag stitch and I use now this time I will uh, use 0 0.8 seam allowance so I will for sure hide the other stitches that we have done before so use 0 0.8 or or one one centimeter zigzag all around here and we do this for both sleeves we now have attached both our sleeves and we have uh, a lot of bulkiness here because of so many layers especially on the area where we have the ruffle so uh, you can go ahead and trim the excess fabric uh, if you want or and besides trimming a little bit you can also use a fold over elastic and cover the seam if you if you want I've done that on the swimsuit pattern long sleeve life if you want to see how I did it uh, but the main thing is just placing your fold over elastic like so on top of your seam and sewing I'm not gonna do that here I'm just going to trim the excess fabric and I'm gonna leave the seam uh, visible on the inside I don't think this will be uh, any harm and it will not bother uh, the kids uh, so after we trim this it's time for us to finish our sleeves on the wrist area and here we also have a lot of options uh, you can also see the option that I did on the swimsuit pattern life the long sleeve one uh, which I'm gonna place a card here so you can easily go there uh, we, in which I've done uh, the finish with an additional strap here and then I fold it inside just like we did on the neckline but today to make this even simpler I'm not gonna do that I'm just going to uh, fold the fabric to the inside because of course the seam is on the inside uh, and I'm gonna do already a cover a cover stitch on the edge of my fabric 
So one on the edge of the fold and the other one on the edge of the fabric right here. And once those two are, are done and I'm going to apply elastic on the middle. So I'm going to apply the elastic and then I'm going to fold. And once I fold, I do the two top stitches that I was telling you about. Uh, so that once this is reversed to the right sides, you will then have elastic inside and two top stitches all around. So that's the easiest way for us to finish our sleeves today. Uh, and once this is done and you have to do this first, uh, we will pin all around on, on our arm, on the sleeve here, under the arm, we will go until the side of the swimsuit and we will do this with the overlock without elastic. Okay, so let's do these two steps, trimming, preparing the wrists and then sew the sides. Our sleeves already have the elastic applied and now it's just like um, I've told you before, we will fold it this inside. And this is up to you. You can do this a little bit wider or a little bit smaller. Uh, it's up to you. So I'm gonna do two top stitches on each sleeve. One on the edge near the fold and one on the edge here. And, and then I will be back on the table. I will do this with a zigzag probably. to match the rest of the swimsuit. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use zigzag, just like I did on the other areas of the swimsuit. And since I'm going to the sewing machine, I'm also going uh, to, no, <laughs> that's it. So let's do the top stitch for the sleeves. Okay, sleeve top stitch is done. I'm using my son's box. He made me. <laughs> um, well, now, uh, just like I told you, align the sleeve here. You can pin one, one pin here on the edge. Then you can also do under the arm, it's easier to align the fabrics. I usually flatten the seams here. So uh, something I want to tell you before I do this is if you want, and this is completely optional, if you want, you can do a top stitch on the main side on the body, um, laying your seams uh, flat and sewing here, and this will stabilize the seam inside here. So instead of cutting so much as I did, I could have done that before cutting, before trimming. I could have done a top stitch here, stabilizing uh, my, my seam towards my body pieces, but I don't want to do that this, this time. So that's why I didn't do it. But if you want, go ahead and do it. This is the right moment to do it. So I'm gonna lay flat both of my seams here. Under the arm. And I'm going to pin. Pin under the arm all around. And on the side, just like I told you. And then we will go to our uh, overlock and we will sew the under the, the sleeve and also the entire sides again no elastic and this is very simple just straightforward overlock this edge both my sides are ready so I'm going to the overlock and sew the side and my sleeve so with my sleeves sewn I uh, and after my surgery I went to my straight stitch machine and I reinforced this with a zigzag um, at least on the sleeve and under the arm. Okay, that's just something I like to do to make sure that uh, with uh, kids and water and everything it will not rip apart. Then uh, something we can do to uh, make our sleeves look great when they are on the reverse side is I'm gonna show you. Once the sleeve is on the right side, you can flatten the seam towards one of the sides and do a straight stitch on your sewing machine just to secure the, um, the seam towards one of the sides. 
to lay it flat and that's something you may do so it's optional but I'm just letting you know so if you want to do it you can do it um, now uh, we are almost in the end we just uh, need to finish our leg holes and this is something probably most of you already know how to so I'm just going to pin the lining to the main fabric to make sure that it doesn't skip and I'm going to apply the elastic on the sides of my uh, lining piece uh, 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 so in this case my lining I mean my insides fabric because when I do the fold I want my elastic to be inside right and and it, this will be it I will share some pictures of the final result with you I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you do please leave your comments and don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel um, let me know if you have questions if you want join our Facebook group uh, to, to share your designs to share your experiments with our patterns to, to ask questions whatever and that will be all for today Thank you very much for watching this video and see you soon. Bye guys. Of course we still, I said goodbye, but of course we still need to do the leg hole with the elastic and then we fold and we do a top stitch with a zigzag all around and then we will be ready to finish. But I will show you on the table so you can see the final and how I did it.